the hardest thing for me growing up was just not having a dad and not having him there, knowing that he chose to not be part of my life. I had a lot of father wounds. But I grew up looking for you know, my identity. I was trying to find my masculinity and other things. So making a lot of dumb decisions in high school. My senior year of high school, my youth pastor, I decided that he was gonna take a job in San Antonio, Texas. He said, Eli, I want you to move with me and you can help me out in the church and the youth group and get some ministry under your belt. So I lived in San Antonio for three years. I had become really close friends with this family in the church I was in. Um, I started meeting with the, the father of the household. We would meet, um, just kind of check on me and how I'm doing. He would take me out to lunch and talk to me. He really became my spiritual father that I never had. It was through him that I really kind of began my process of forgiving my actual father. He said, I feel like that's your next step is finding forgiveness in your actual dad. So, so that took probably a few months going back and forth, wrestling with emotions there. And it eventually became to the point where I had forgiven my actual father for not being there. I don't blame him for anything. I know that the enemy is real and he was attacking my family. I don't hold him to any of that. So coming here to Islands College, I've noticed that he's put a new passion inside of my heart to develop leaders. I love watching people grow, flourish, and thrive in different areas. And I get to do that here. I'm given a chance and opportunity to do that with students to invest in their lives. Now I get to lead a city group and I get to do what I feel like God's really called me to do. I can look back now on some of my darkest days growing up and realize that God had his hand in, in all the situations. God took me from a boy who felt like an orphan and put me in his family.